In May of 1601, during the Swedish-Polish War, the Swedish army advanced through the land that was once known as Livonia. The army came across the castle of Turaida, which lay in the heart of the beautiful forested valley of Gauja. The Swedish army laid siege to the castle. The knights of Turaida vowed to fight to the last man, so a great battle was fought at nearby Slakteri Dale, and the defenders were defeated. The Swedish invaders took the castle and reveled that night, holding a great feast. Outside, the slain bodies of the fallen were forgotten by all but one man, the castle clerk named Grief. As Grief searched among the dead for any survivors, he heard a cry. As he approached the source of the cries, he discovered an infant embraced by the arms of her dead mother. Promising to raise her as his own, old Grief lifted up the poor starved baby and named her Maya Ruose. As Maya grew into a young woman, tales of her beauty grew among the townsfolk, who began to call her the Rose of Turaida. Maya had many admirers, but ultimately her heart lay with a young gardener living in the nearby castle of Sigurd, Victor Hale. The couple met frequently in the evenings at Gutmann's cave, which lay between the two castles. He loved her as much as any man could love a woman. Maya's beauty had also drawn the attention of a deserter of the Polish army, Adam Jakubowski, who desired the young maiden for himself. Adam approached Maya, professing his ambition to marry her, but she refused. He grew intensely jealous of the love that Maya and Victor shared. Rejected, his feelings boiled and burned inside his chest. He devised a plan to abduct Maya and force her into marriage and slavery. Adam forged a letter in Victor's handwriting asking Maya to meet at Gutmann's cave one evening. He commissioned a fellow deserter, Peter Skudritis, to deliver the letter. Maya made her usual trek to the cave that evening, but when she arrived, she was captured by Adam and Peters. Helpless and distraught, Maya contemplated her dark future in silent fear until she arrived at a moment of clarity. She bargained for her freedom by offering her captor a magical scarf that protects its wearer from harm. Skeptical, Adam flatly denied her offer. To convince him she was speaking the truth, she tied it around her neck, then invited Adam to strike her with a nearby axe. swayed by her conviction. With Maya's last breath, she professed her unending love for Victor, preferring that she die and maintain her honor than to submit to the vile Jakubowski. She then closed her eyes and was gone. Due to circumstantial evidence, a trial for Maya's murder charged Victor with the crime. But at the last moment, a regretful Peters came forward to tell the truth of the matter. The authorities then went looking for Adam, but he had become so overwhelmed with guilt from the devotion that Maya had shown, that he had already hung himself in despair. So, to this very day, newlywed couples travel from all over Latvia to lay flowers at the grave of Turaides Ruose, 
in hopes of knowing the same eternal love and fidelity.